Hello! Wow, um, this is the second time that I've tried filming this video. The first time around, um, I went, like, I finished filming the video and I went to edit it and I was so shy and so awkward because I hadn't done this in three years. Um, I feel like this one went a little better. I mean, obviously I've already filmed it because I've already got my full face on. Um, this is, this is my son. This is Rufus. He is five months old. He's just a little baby and he's the love of my life. We're going to live a very happy life together. In this video, I just did my everyday makeup routine and I tried to explain where I've been for the past three years, but I feel like it was kind of all over the place and I don't know if I explained things very well. So just a quick disclaimer, this might be a completely pointless video. I'm not sure, but I really enjoyed just sitting in front of the camera and talking for a little bit. Um, if you guys want a more detailed Q&A, if you had any more questions or if you wanted me to like touch on subjects that I didn't in this video, just leave me a comment down below and I can do that. I am super excited to be back. I have missed YouTube a whole lot. Um, I just needed to take some time for myself and it ended up being three years and I apologize for that, but I still have a passion for making videos and I'm really excited to get back into it. With that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, excuse the towel on my head. I just got out of the shower. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with my eyes because I don't want the eyeshadow to fall over my foundation. I'm gonna take this concealer, a long story, short story actually about this concealer. My dog got a hold of it and it's on its last leg. It kind of squirts out the sides. I need to get rid of it. I know it's gross, but. All right, so I'm putting concealer on my eyes as a primer. I actually don't know where my primer is right now, but honestly, this is gonna have the same effect because the primer that I have friggin' sucks right now. I think I went on a trip over the summer and I forgot an eye primer and I just stopped at like a dollar store real quick and picked up some kind of wet and wild basic ass eyeshadow primer and you get what you pay for because that primer sucks lately I've really been loving my Lorac gold palette I think I've talked about this on my channel before I really love this palette I've had it forever and I switch up my eyeshadow palettes all the time I like to get good use out of all of my you know things. Every time I come back to this one, I'm just in awe and I'll use it for months and then I'll just, you know, switch it out and come back to it months later. I have always been a sucker for shimmery champagne eyeshadows. They're my weakness. I love them so much. If a palette has a pretty champagne color, I will buy the entire palette just because of that shade. And as you can see, I get a lot of use out of these, which all three of these shades are really pretty, actually. This one's a matte. I'm not a huge fan of mattes on my lid. Sometimes I'll wear mattes on my lid just to switch it up a little bit, but usually I'm a shimmery champagne on the lid and like a, you know, brown in the crease. That's always been my go-to makeup look for a really long time. Now I'm going to go in with Undeniable, which is this shade right here. Just a very like basic brown color. This is the look I always go for with this palette. And I'm just gonna throw that in the outer corner in the crease. I feel like I'm the worst unpacker. Like my family and I moved out of the house that we had lived in for a really long time into a bigger house. And when I moved there, I still had all of my stuff in boxes. Like still to this day, there's stuff at the house in boxes. But then in November of last year, I packed up all my stuff again all the stuff that I had unpacked, I guess, and moved into my own apartment. And that was in November. And it is almost March now. And I still have a few, like, I still have boxes of stuff at my mom's house that I just haven't gone and got. And I can't find my studio lights, my tripod, all that jazz. Although I'm really digging filming on the iPhone. Like, this camera quality, I think, is better than my DSLR quality, which I have the Canon Rebel T3i, which is basically like a freaking ancient fossil at this point. I know people have like all this upgraded equipment, but since I quit YouTube for so long, I just never, I didn't touch that camera. I never thought about that camera. I didn't want to pick it up. I didn't want to get a new one. I guess I'm just going to kind of explain like what I've been doing for the past three years. I mean, it, it has been like three years since I posted on this channel. I think I posted in 2016. So yeah, it's like almost three years. Probably around this time is when I made that like we broke up like dramatic ass video. After that video was filmed and put up, I did plan on like 
sticking with YouTube, but life just kind of took me. I had different plans, I suppose, because things just got a little crazy for me, like, and not in a bad way necessarily either. I mean, obviously there were like not so good times, but for the most part, the past three years of my life have been the best of my life. When I filmed the We Broke Up video, I was kind of in a bad place. Just, I didn't really know what was next. And I thought that YouTube was gonna take me places. I thought that YouTube was something that I really wanted to do, but at the time I was still hurting over the breakup. For almost like a year after the breakup, I still got comments about that relationship and I was still like a little sensitive about it. So I was like, I just didn't want to film videos by myself and just get constantly reminded of that, I guess. I mean, I don't know. But like now that I look back on it, it's like not a big deal. It was just, it is what it is, I guess. Um, but I just needed time to find myself and I don't know, when you're with somebody for so long, you kind of lose your individuality, I feel like, or it's very easy to do that. And I feel like that's something that I did. And I just needed to go out and live and just experience things and, you know, really figure out what I like and what I don't like and all that. Okay, so I just went in with this darkest matte shade over here. It is unedited, and I just threw that in my outer corners, just kind of darken up the look a little bit, and I'm also taking whatever's left on that brush and just kind of bringing it under my lash line a little bit, which I honestly probably should have done after I did my foundation, but you know. <laughs> I have like daily products just in this plastic bag. I don't know why, actually. I think I was going somewhere, and I just threw everything in a plastic bag, and I never put it back, and I'm in... Okay, so I'm in like the spare bedroom of my apartment, so nobody really goes in here, but I'm really wanting to turn this into like my YouTube makeup room type thing. It, I haven't gotten to that point yet, and so I just, I bring whatever I need in here, and this is how I'm going to film until I get my makeup in here. Literally, my makeup drawers are in my closet right now in my bedroom, and I just have to transfer them over here, but it's just... It's so heavy. I had gotten a new job around, I think it was October of 2015, and I started making new friends. I lived really close to this hotel that was in my town. My job had a bunch of Thai foreign exchange students work there over the summer, and they were staying at that hotel. And we made friends with them, like still to this day, some of the coolest people I've ever met, like ever. Um, we basically spent our summer with a bunch of Thai kids. It was just so cool to see how they live and they'd let us try their foods that they brought from Thailand and we'd make them stuff. You know, we got to show them like the 4th of July. We spent it with them. Like it was just insane. It was a really cool experience and I feel like I made lifelong friends. Like we still keep in touch and I think that's really cool. So that was basically that whole summer and that had stories in itself. I kind of want to make story time videos because... I went through some crazy things over the past three years and I think that they would be really entertaining stories. But I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner in black, of course. And I'm just gonna do the typical wing. I've got my mirror right here, so I've gotta kinda get a little close. I feel like I need to blend this side out a little bit more. My sister and I also got really close in 2016. Like we've always been really close, but we got really close. Like we were best, best, best friends beginning in 2016. Liquid eyeliner stresses me out. Like I already messed this up. I've done liquid eyeliner and wings for so long. Usually I don't really have that much of an issue with it, but today this side looks like crap. Wow. Okay, that made it look a little bit better, I guess. <sighs> so my sister and I got really close in 2016, and then we come to 2017, which 2017 was probably the most insane, most eventful year of my entire life. There's this one story. I still worked at the same place, and this freaking guy started working there. And he had like an obsession with me. I don't want to sound like fool of myself when I say that, but he was obsessed with me and he almost tried to kill me. And I want to make a story time about that because that was the first time I ever had to go to court. That was interesting. I literally had to testify on behalf of my town because I pressed charges against him. I didn't really understand it, but I just knew he was in a lot of trouble. 
but I really want to make a story time about that because that's probably the most insane thing that's ever happened to me and wow um okay I'm actually gonna start on my face because I don't want to put mascara on before I do my powder because it's gonna powder up my eyelashes I don't want that we're gonna go in with the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer and I'm just gonna put a pretty generous amount of this on my finger the summer of 2017 I partied a lot a lot like every single weekend I'm pretty sure I was intoxicated because it was the year I turned 21 so obviously I went a little insane like a lot of people do and honestly thank god that phase of my life is over because uh, I just went to like a little it wasn't really even a party it was just like a little get together last night and everybody was drinking and I was just like Ugh, I want to go home and go to bed and so I did I, I left to go to bed. I came home, I walked my dog, I fed him, and I went to bed. And it was great, and I don't regret my decision at all. No offense to the people that were there if you're watching, I just, I'm just a tired girl, okay? I wake up at 5.30 every single morning. Like, my first alarm goes off at 5.30. I don't get out of bed until like 6 or 6.30, but. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this janky concealer. I'm just gonna throw this underneath my eyes. Mm. Ooh, mail. I never get mail to my apartment, which is good because I never check it actually. I love this sponge. My dog actually got a hold of my old one and chewed it up and my lovely boyfriend went to Target that day and picked me up a new one. And I think that's one of the nicest things anybody's ever done for me. So I just recently went to the store and bought this foundation because to be honest, I have not worn foundation in years because I just felt like I didn't need it. But during the winter time, I really should wear foundation because this is not cute whenever I don't put anything or put any effort into it. I've always done my eyes. I have like, whenever I do my makeup, it's always the eyes and that would usually be it. But I've been getting into doing my foundation again and I'm like, dang girl, like you go from a six to like a solid eight. Now I'm just gonna go in with this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which I actually just found the other day. So I haven't been using this for very long, to be honest. I mean, I've used this for years, but just recently, I haven't used it in a while, so it's probably not in great condition, but you know me. I'm going in with this contour kit. I don't even know, IBY Beauty. I don't really know this brand. I probably got this out of a BoxyCharm, and I've just been using it for the past couple weeks. I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones, then bring it up on my forehead. Well, after summer of 2017, our group kind of like disbanded. People just kind of went their separate ways. There were a few people that still wanted to hang out with the group and like party and stuff, and I was one of them. So I just started hanging out with them. Me and my best friend, Hannah, who I've been friends with for like 15 years now, um, we decided we wanted to throw a Halloween party and it was gonna be big. It was gonna be like themed. We are gonna decorate our other friend's apartment for this party and we're like okay we're like gonna throw this costume party and like we really don't have that many friends so it's gonna be like six or seven people i didn't really count i don't really care we need boys at this party hello because we like already knew the people that were coming to the party like the boys that had already been invited because we worked with them and like we're obviously not interested in them my friend had met this guy at her job she messages him and he's like yeah can i bring two other friends and she's just like yeah sure so we go to this party, we got our costumes on and everything. Nobody else dressed up. To make a long story freaking short, um, the guy that she invited brought a friend who I just thought was so cute, like just so attractive. And I was already like a little tipsy at that point and we just really hit it off. And I basically like made out with him the whole night and now I have an apartment with him and We've been together for like over a year now and it was just it was a really good time and i'm still having a good time okay but so yeah that's basically the story about how i met my boyfriend i just threw on this pretty vulgar blush um i don't know if the name is hush blush or make them blush i don't know probably make them blush i think this is like the perfect color for me this is like kind of sheer it's like this peachy corally color i dig it love it I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows today because I'm feeling a little ambitious. So um, I'm going to take my Anastasia, what is this, the Brow Wiz? Nope, Dip Brow Pomade. <laughs> Get it right. I'm just going to throw on some mascara real quick. You guys know, like back in the day, 
like back when I was in my YouTube prime, I was rocking all kinds of freaking lip colors. Dark, dark, dark purple lipsticks. It did not give a fuck. Now, like, I don't know what happened, but I just do not have the confidence to wear that stuff anymore. It's insane. Like, Young Jess was a badass. She did not care. But um, I'm just going to try to dab this color on my lips. Uh, this is a Bobbi Brown lipstick in Soft Rose. I know. I'm almost done. I feel like this video wasn't really informative but I still had fun making it. Um, I don't know. I feel like it was kind of all over the place. I feel like I tried to touch on like just about everything, but I feel like I didn't really say anything at all. I think I'm gonna go straighten my hair and then I think I'm gonna come back and film another video about the time that that one guy tried to kill me. If you guys have requests of any videos that you wanna see in the future, just let me know down in the comments below. Um, I know for sure I'm making a story time and I've also filmed a video with my boyfriend where I put makeup on his face. That didn't sound good. It sounds like somebody just like ran into another car and they like just watched the car go by. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.